It's that time of year where it's time to start thinking about your yard, whether it be tree care or maintenance on the lawnmower. Here's a couple of tips to help you out. Hey guys, in today's pro tip, we're gonna talk about fall tree care because there's some basics you should be paying attention to to make sure that these things are ready for spring next year. First off, all these little suckers kind of coming off the side here should be trimmed back because these are gonna be big branches and I don't want them this low. So really, a good set of snips and just coming in here, getting these things trimmed back. Literally five minutes of going through and cutting these things off flush can be a world of difference. And this is something that can really be a healthier tree once you get this stuff out of here. And it just looks better too. Now here's another thing, if you've got one of these kind of pits like this, make sure you get this stuff out of here. As you can see, that's getting rotten. And when that gets rotten, that's gonna split this tree in half during the next windstorm. And that's not something I wanna see. Now let's go into my backyard on the side and I'll show you another thing that can really hurt these trees and it's easy to do. Let's do it. All right guys, one of the things that's really bad for these trees is ivy. We can go through here and take this out. Sometimes you can just go through. It's hard to pull down. But if you come through and just clip them off here at ground level, it will die. So there's no sense needing to climb up in the tree. But get in here like this and get this stuff pulled out like this right here. The more you can do to get this back, the healthier trees are going to be. It's going to be a little bit of a project. But once you cut it back in a couple months, it'll start falling off the tree all by itself. You just have to make sure that every little one of these things is cut loose and you're gonna have a healthier tree. Anytime you can get this ivy out of here, it's not native, it's gotta go. All right guys, now last tip, when you got big trees like that, don't go up and try to trim those yourself. Lean on the professional, let them do it. It's a heck of a lot safer and you know it's gonna be done right. All right guys, last mow of the season. But even though this is an electric lawnmower, here's my pro tips on making sure this is gonna work great for you next year and for many years ahead. Even though it's maintenance free, there's still maintenance you gotta do. Let me show you how. And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure there's no power to this thing because we're gonna be turning it upside down and checking underneath the hood. All right guys, the number one rule here is safety, of course. We're gonna make sure that we have all the power off to this. Just like a gas lawnmower, where you take off the spark plug and make sure nothing's gonna start, same rules here. I'm just gonna make sure this is unplugged, including the safety. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this up so we can see underneath the hood. That way we can get it cleaned up and make sure the blades are in good shape. Let's do it. First thing I'm gonna do is inspect these blades and see what the condition are, condition of these are because this is something you wanna make sure they're nice and sharp and there's no big chunks. If you've hit a rock, this is where you're gonna find it. These are actually in really good condition and they don't really need to be sharpened, but if they're gonna be sharpened, I like to send them off to have them sharpened. So have a second set of blades for these. That way you get them done correctly. If these get out of balance, it can wobble around and be hard on the lawnmower. So be careful just getting the grinder out and going after it. Sometimes it's better to let the pro do those. You'll have a better looking lawn when it's all said and done. Next thing I'm gonna do is get all this stuff out of here because all that's gonna do is get hard, nasty, and more importantly, it could rot out the deck. So let's get it cleaned up. All right guys, let's get the hose out and get this knocked out. All right guys, this is where a little bit of maintenance goes a long way. That just junk that's underneath there, all those lawn clippings, are gonna rot out the deck. So if you can get this clean now, you're gonna be ready for spring. It'll be right around the corner and you're gonna have a lawnmower that's ready to rock.